Well, guys, congratulations. The two of you are joining us in the third and final round of this competition. In this final round, we're sending you back to your home forges for four days to build an iconic weapon from history. You're going to be building this. Boysmiths, this is the Naga Sword. <laughs> the Naga Sword traces its origins back to 16th century India. Featuring a broad, square chisel tip, this weapon was great at inflicting powerful, deadly chops in combat. This rare version of the Dao Sword was reserved for the highest level tribal authorities due to the scarcity of iron in the area. While few Naga Swords still exist, it can be seen on display in the halls of the British Museum in London. Good luck. We'll see you in four days. Let's get it. My name's Chris Smith. I am 41 years old from Bergen, Kentucky. I am a refractory brick mason and a part-time placement. I thoroughly enjoy making knives. It's a lot like a rabbit hole. There's new materials coming out all the time, new tools. And they, I just enjoy the challenge. Feel pretty good. We've got all the parameters met. It's time to heat treat this thing. Let's hope this goes well. There was no crazy fireballs or uh, broken blades or anything like that. The quench went great. Yeah, it's hard. I am stoked. This thing is going to look awesome. I got it ground, ready for etching. It's going to look good. The blade etched, amazing. I mean, it's time to start thinking about the handle and how I'm going to make it. I feel like I have plenty of time. Doing some research online about this Naga sword, the majority that I saw had red goat hair off the pommel of them just as a decoration. So I ordered goat hair off the internet. I think it's perfect. I'm Joseph Jojo Salyers. I am 19 years old from Rutherford, North Carolina. I am a full-time bladesmith with my dad, Billy Salyers, who just so happens to be a Fortune Fire champion. Billy, you are the Fortune Fire champion. Good job, brother. And so here I am, hoping I can show the old man up. It's coming along pretty well. We got a solid bit of Damascus. Time to get my blade in the oil. With Damascus, you have a bunch of little welds. Any of those welds could possibly pop open. I'm hoping everything comes out all good. All right, hot metal. My sword's quenched, it's pretty straight. All in all, my blade's mostly done. Most of the work I have to do is aesthetics and sharpening. That is what you like to see. My dad was kind enough to give me something to test my blade on. I present you a challenge worthy of your skills. <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Yeah. <laughs> so go on the wall, we shall stuff it. My sword's comfy, sharp, it's done. Now it's time to go see what the judges can do with it. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapons will do, I'm gonna take your weapons and put some lethal blows or chops on this big carcass. Jojo, are you ready for this? Let's make some pork chops. You got it. All right, Jojo, pork chops you wanted, pork chops you got. Most of the weight is right here in the handle, so that really lends itself to a nice, balanced weapon. Your sword's edge over here chops deeply, especially that one swing on the leg. And overall, it will kill. Awesome. All right, Chris, your turn. So you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Chris, the first thing I noticed about this is just how sharp your edge is ground, and that lends itself for very deep cuts. And I like the throwback to the 90s troll hair right there. 
But overall, sir, your Naga sword, it will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, gentlemen, welcome to the strength test, the how to chop. Now, those how to's would be riding on top of an elephant. This test is not about what your Naga swords do to the how to, but what that how to does to your blades. And Jojo, you are up first. You ready? I suppose so. All right, so Jojo, uh, there's there's no damage. It's, it's a kind of an ax grind, but on a chopper, it works fine. It held up beautifully in the strength test. Well done. Thank you. Chris, you ready to play with the howda? Yes, sir. All right. Chris, I'm going to start back here on your handle. Um, I like this. It's got a fairly traditional look to it. As far as your blade goes, we have a little bit of an issue. Your edge has deflected over to one side, but it's still sharp. Other than that, I think it did a good job. Well done. All right, bladesmiths. Welcome to the sharpest test of jack food and rope slice. Jojo, you're up first. You ready for this? Absolutely. All right, let's do this. All right, Jojo, your edge cut nicely on these jackfruits and the rope overall. It'll cut. Thank you. All right, Chris, your turn, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, Chris. So in cutting the jackfruit, this section right here met the jackfruits. So that includes this area that took some damage. You can feel a little bit of a drag, but it did not affect. It was able to cut through the jackfruit and the rope. Overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thank you. The Bladesmiths, both your blades tested well, but only one of you can go home with a Fortune Fire Champion title and a check for $10,000. Our judges have discussed your blades and they made a final decision. Today's Force and Fire champion is... Jojo, congratulations. Chris, there's no doubting you are an extremely talented Smith, but unfortunately, your time in this competition has ended. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the Forge floor. All right, thank you all for having me. Uh, thank, thank you, Chris. You, Chris. It's a beautiful piece, awesome, man. Brother. Thanks, mate. Take care, guys. I think it all came down to the heat treatment of my blade. I'm not sure what went wrong, but uh, something obviously did. JoJo, congratulations. That means you are the newest Fortune Fire champion. Not only that, you are the very first father and son champion that's ever come through Fortune Fire, man. Congratulations. I cannot wait to get home and tell Dad. This is going to be super cool, and he's going to be just as excited as I am. Is this a blade you'll build again? I think I'll make an extra one. I need something to show off at the house. <laughs> this is so awesome. I never thought I'd be here, and man, it's just a blessing. JoJo's the Forge and Fire champion, let's go. Up top. Yeah.